Hello, you wonderful people. Welcome back to another video. Today, we want to talk to you all about how you can create, plan, and schedule the next three months of your content on Instagram and still get reach, views, and engagements on the other key social media platforms so that you can work smarter and not harder because time is money, y'all. <laughs> so let's jump in. All right, so our agency approach, with a few exceptions, is an Instagram first strategy. So we'll explain why Instagram is the best platform in just a moment, but we have that as a primary platform that we focus on and cross post to secondary platforms because not only does it save us time, it gives us more bang for our buck by making that content go further. As if we don't organically show up in Instagram's algorithm, we give ourselves an opportunity to show up on another platform our target audience may be on. We truly believe it's a waste just to post on one platform and not cross post, which means sharing to other platforms or repurpose, which is redesigning or recreating our content. So why Instagram? Instagram, of course, is still the best platform to be on for many, many reasons. So the first is, of course, the reach across all age groups. Basically, everybody is on Instagram. We even mm -hmm. got your mom on recently. She loves it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's true. She was yeah. asking Literally me for everyone's account for on a while. Yeah. We were all like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was actually funny. We gave her permission. <laughs> she loves it. And almost every method of engaging exists on Instagram so that you get more opportunities to try and find the one that works for you because they have so many surfaces. For example, the DMs, yeah. stories, reels, photos in the feed, carousels. Also, Instagram not only drives brand awareness through reels, but it also drives traffic through link stickers, link in bio, and DMs, which is a fantastic strategy to be using all mm -hmm. the time, particularly in stories. Yeah. So if you're on Instagram, you're already creating reels if you think about it. So it's kind of a waste not to use them anywhere else. Mm. So for example, TikTok is great for brand awareness, especially for creators. And YouTube Shorts is amazing for discoverability for everyone, Seriously. point blank, period. And 100%. that's because of this amazing search function that it has. So really important not to just let your content live and die on Instagram, mm. but leverage it to actually get in front of your audience on other platforms that they might frequent more than Instagram. Yes. Alrighty, so let's talk about planning. The most important step before you start planning all of your content is of course getting your content pillars together. Anything you're doing must always ladder back up to goals, which comes with having a social media strategy that outlines things like objectives, so product sales, increasing brand awareness, booking clients, etc. cetera, uh, your target audience, the platforms you'll use, and very importantly, especially when planning content, your content pillars. Content pillars are the focus here because they are the goal-related themes your content will fit into. They inform what you'll post and why, super important. So we recommend at least three different content pillars for diversity, but no more than like five, just to avoid getting too broad in the topics that you speak about. I've seen people have way too many before and it kind of, starts to muddy up what Instagram believes that you're even posting. Exactly. About. It just completely confuses the algorithm. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. feed you to the right people. So that's definitely not what you want. Mm -hmm. So under those pillars, you should make sure that you decide on the platforms where you're going to post, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. The content types. So what the content is, whether it's like day in the life, behind the scenes, vlogs, memes, quick tips, instructional type of content, etc. So for example, a pillar for us is Instagram for business as we teach our audience how to use Instagram to grow their business or personal brands. And that would ladder up to a goal of driving bookings for our services like one-to-one -one consultations or opting into our digital revenue streams. Our platform of choice would be Instagram and a content type would be a quick tips video. So before you plan, ensure you have your pillars set up and ready to go in a document. If you'd like us to break down this entire process even further, just let us know in the comments and we can add that to a future video. Yeah, we've never done like a full dedicated content pillars type video. So no. that is something we can really brief 
brief you all through. Now let's talk about how to find content inspiration for your pillars. So once you have pillars in place, you'll need to start brainstorming and actually sourcing content ideas. So some of the sources that we like are Instagram search. You can use TikTok, you can use YouTube or Pinterest, and you can actually do this just by typing in the keyword that's relevant to your business and to your audience and see what high performing content comes up using the metrics that, you know, are most important to what you're trying to do. Usually we'd recommend looking at at the kind of engagement and views that those pieces of content are getting. And you may also just actually want to look through to see like, you know, types of format inspo. So how people are creating their reels or carousels or different types of aesthetics. This is the type of mindset you want to have as you're going through and getting that inspiration. We personally save this as an ideas dump in notion, but you can also save it directly on Instagram. We actually also save it directly on Instagram and sometimes on Pinterest too. So it depends also where you get inspired at the time, but you would do that directly on Instagram or you can do it on Pinterest. You can also do it in the ideas section of your social media planner. So if you use something like Planoly, which we will talk about more in a second, they actually have a section where you can save your ideas there too. But what you want to be doing is just collecting this, this ideation and have it somewhere that you can refer to when you get into the next step, which we're about to talk about, which is creating your calendar. Alrighty, next up, we're going to create a content calendar. And in this section, we're going to look at how often that you need to post, the importance of evergreen versus trending content, which formats that you wanna share your content in, and which software you can use to stay organized and schedule out your content so you can focus less on getting posts out and more on engaging with your community, which we've said probably a million times, but that's the whole point of social media. So your content calendar is going to be where all your posts live. And this is going to be really taking things from strategy to the execution phase. Now, it'll also let you know what you need to create ahead of time so that you can batch create your content, which is also super, super important. And we'll get into in the next section. You can also choose to do this in a separate document, whether it's a deck uh, or a project manager, document, whatever, or you can streamline everything by doing it all in one place to maximize your efficiency, which is something we're very much about here, and avoid having to manage too many different pieces of software and documents, because to be honest, it can get really annoying. You forget where things are. Hey, can you send me and share it with me again? It's, it's yeah. a whole thing. And you can do all of this by using a social media tool like Planoly, the sponsor of today's video. Hey. Hey, hey, Planoly. Now we've been rocking with Planoly for a very long time and have always recommended it as one of the best social media planning and management tools to clients since at least 2017. Probably. I actually looked to check the receipts. Oh, you did actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is one of the OGs in this industry. So it just feels so beautiful and so full circle to be working with them to share how they've made lives easier for us and our clients. Yes. So if you're not familiar, with Planoly. It is a social media planning and management tool that allows you to simplify your social media process, organize your content ideas and hashtags, and customize, preview, and post all of your content for every channel in one single view, which means you can focus on creating for Instagram in our Instagram first strategy, but cross post and publish then to Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and X, formerly known as Twitter. Sorry gotta say it I, you know you gotta say it. it's weird even more so you can do it automatically that's what we're that's doing it's automation now. you can see on our channel that we're often speaking to you about automating things because we are all busy people and we need to focus on what matters and sitting and doing things individually every single day does not make sense for your business now Planoly users who posted weekly for three months nearly tripled their following which is why we wanted this video to specifically outline how you can create three months of content as we want you to see what's possible when you commit to being consistent. Yes. So earlier when we discussed content pillars, which is central to all planning, you could actually use their ideas manager and create folders based on your content pillars, so cool. then add those ideas directly into that ideas manager. So right into Planoly as notes, images, videos, and links all organized by your pillar. And then when you're ready, you can bring them right over into your calendar when you're planning. So you're doing everything in that one tool. 
and another hack which makes visually seeing and planning your content at a full month glance super easy, which we'll talk about in a second. So as you know, we are partnering with Planoly, which means there is a generous offer in there for you. So oh, yes. <laughs> all of you, if you are interested in trying Planoly, you will get 30% off their annual subscription, which starts as low as $11 per month. Bye. What? Bargain. That's at this time of recording, and you can get that 30% off using High Season 30, all lowercase. It'll be here for you, yes. and it'll be in the description box below. We really recommend that you check it out, and if you're looking for a simple way to just it's all about simple and automated, okay? If yeah. you're looking for just a simple way to manage your social media process while using the tips that we're also sharing in this video, Planoly is a really, really great tool for you to use. Now let's look at a calendar and talk frequency of publishing. You know, it's easy to get overwhelmed and think we need a ton of content, but a fair schedule that will help you stay consistent is the schedule we're on and many of our clients are on. When we're talking about in-feed posts, it's just posting three times in-feed per week, which means you're actually only needing to post 12 times per month. 12. Easy That's nothing. nothing. That is easy. So with the Planoly hack I mentioned earlier, you could go into their calendar and actually use the notes feature to drop in where you plan to post even before you start drafting your content so you can visually see it all there for you. And for example, for us, what we would do is put like pillar IG business because that might mean that we want to post in that pillar six times a month, for example. So that's where we would use the notes app to actually make sure that our pillars are evenly being distributed every single month. And then of course, what you'd want to be thinking about is the format. That's super key. So given where the priority is right now and continues to be, that's reels. So our recommendation, if you're looking at three posts per week would be to do two reels, at least two reels and a carousel. So the reels will help you with the brand awareness aspect and the carousel will help you increase engagement, like saves, shares and follows, which are all super important to the algorithm. So if we're looking at that, it would be that we would have our note be okay. And my pillar is going to be Instagram for business. I'm going to post a reel. That's the format. And my type is going to be a quick tips video, or it could be a talking head video with that. You'd be able to see and whether or not you're distributing the content among your pillars and also the format types evenly throughout the month, which is super, super helpful. Now, another thing that you want to be focusing on is evergreen content. So when we talk about evergreen content, that's in contrast to trending or timely content. And that's because with evergreen content, it lasts forever. So that's the one type of content that you want to make sure fits within your pillars because it remains relevant and it's not going to be restricted to any time period. This gives you wiggle room for your trending and timely content. Should you want to hop on a trend that comes up and makes sense for you. And if you do decide to do that, you can treat that as a bonus piece of content in that week. So maybe you post four times in that week, or you can push back an evergreen post to another time at a later date, which means it's even giving you, you know, more time on the calendar, which we love, love. when that happens. Love when that happens. So that's the thing I was like, I actually love when that happens. If three new things happen, I'm like, oh, looks that, like we have a whole go. other week of content somewhere else. It's beautiful. Um, and one thing I really also love about Planoly is they actually curate trending content weekly, and it's directly on your calendar for you to check out and also be inspired from, which is super helpful if you're ever stuck on ideas. Alrighty, so once you have all of that content on your calendar in Planoly, the next stage is to actually create that content and the best and most efficient way to do it is to batch create. Oh yeah. Uh, something that we are, we've been like ranting about. Forever, literally forever. forever. It's just, Creating content so piecemeal is just, it's just too, it does not make sense. It's just so no, inefficient and we're all about efficiency. Out. Even when we're planning with our clients, what we do is we give them an advance, like a brief that's like, Hey, here are all the things that you need to film and record when anything's like natively filmed. So yeah. like, and it's always in a batch so that they are not stressed either. And usually at a month at a time. Yeah. That's the optimal way to do it. Yeah. Not everyone can work like that depending yeah. on the business, but that's the optimal situation. So then you just don't have to worry about it. It's all scheduled, it's all created. All you got to do is engage with your community. Exactly. So to begin with batching, you need to sit down and storyboard. So that's actually deciding what you want to film or script it, if that makes more sense, particularly if it's like a talking head video and that can be word for word script or it could just be bullet points. Mm -hmm. And you can put those in a document or a note. Next, you're gonna block time off in your calendar to film video content, which is super important. 
you probably won't need a lot of equipment. You probably won't need a ton of time, but mm -hmm. you just need to make sure that you put it aside. And the easiest trio of things that you may need are a tripod, a microphone, lights, or even natural light just to film the videos. Nothing beats natural light. Mm -hmm. Now for the graphic design portion of the carousels or the covers for the reels, you can use an app like Canva and Planoly actually has pre-designed templates for a month's worth of content that you can take advantage of. And we'll leave all of that in the description below. For video editing, you can use an app like CapCut, whether it's mobile or desktop. Mm -hmm. But for something a little more pro, we use Final Cut Pro from Apple and the captions app, because we like the way the captions come up, super cool. Once all that content has been created, it's time to get it all loaded into your scheduling tool and draft up your captions, which we also recommend you do in a batch, save you a ton of time. Now, what we love about Planoly is that you can actually draft your captions, add your hashtags, and actually see what the post will look like so that you can make sure that no important text is being covered up by the platform's native overlays. Very, that very That is convenient. the worst when like you've put something too high, like your text too high or you put it too low and you don't respect like the, it's like not respecting, but it is like not respecting the, the actual UI the green, of the yeah. platform, which means that in the end, your caption can come up and cover something that was important or like your username and all that stuff will be at the top. So yes. I love that that feature exists. It's very, very cool. All right, so then next, it's time to set it and forget it, as they say. So you wanna schedule the posts on the dates you've already designated earlier that we talked about earlier there. And what's amazing is that you can auto post so that you can spend more time focusing on engagement versus when and where to post every single day with Planoly. All right, but why stop there? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, looking back at our Instagram first strategy, that incredible content you made should be shared on other platforms too, like we mentioned. And that's why we really are sincerely encouraging you to cross post your content to other platforms platforms and why we love Planoly is because you can do this right natively in their planner directly yeah. in the tool. So we recommend that you at least post to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and Facebook at minimum. And that's because you're already creating the video content that is perfect for that platform yeah. and cross posting to YouTube shorts has driven over 200,000 extra views for us this year all by never once creating a new piece of content for YouTube Shorts. And that's, that's largely in part to its amazing search capabilities. Yeah, that's insane. You really, really need, I can't express Yeah, we just, we can't express time. that you are missing out if you're not mm. leveraging yeah. YouTube Shorts at minimum, all right? And with Planoly, you can do that easily by just selecting the channels and customizing things based on like captions. So obviously something like Instagram, you can go really lengthy in text there, but you can't do the same thing on YouTube shorts. No. So again, if you're interested in Planoly, you can click the link below and sign up for an annual subscription using high season 30, high season 30. all lowercase starting with your free trial. Yes. And there we have it. That's three months of content done by just carving out some time in your schedule to plan, create, and schedule your content out. If you would love a full tutorial on how to use Planoly or a tutorial on how to create your content pillars, just let us know in the comments. You know how this goes. If you want it, we will make it for you. We want to also thank Planoly because my goodness, I just love how things keep coming full circle for yeah. us. You know, we've been an agency for almost a decade coming up. So it's just like cool that the tools that we've used and shared and recommended, you could see us recommending Planoly anytime we had throughout, throughout this entire YouTube career, at least. And it's so cool that we've been able to work together to, you know, spread the good word of what yeah. they're able to do. Make everyone's lives easier. It's making everyone's life easier. And that's what we need. So if you liked this video, Give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. And we definitely recommend you watch this one next because we also think it'll be super helpful for you. See you in the next one. Peace.